as Suji volunteers in Malaysia bring down the curtain on a successful performance of the Water Repentance Sutra over the past weekend, let us meet some of the on-stage performers who worked hard to overcome personal challenges to take part in the performance. <laughs> Where did we go? Where did we come from? Chen Xiaolan shared the same sentiment when she lost her husband and then father-in-law in May of this year. If you had to lose your husband and then your father-in-law one after the other, wouldn't that devastate you? I was at a loss what to do, and I felt that the Dharma helped me cope with these difficult moments. Without it, I would be lost. The Sutra musical helped Chen come to terms with the loss of her loved ones. During rehearsals, when we recited the verse, Hell is dark, gloomy and sorrowful, it really frightened me when I pictured it in my mind. I feel that I should seize every good opportunity that comes along and work hard to leave the pain behind. Wang Meijie originally refused to join the stage adaptation for religious reasons, but her friend Liu Chengli asked her to keep an open mind. She was opposed to religious activities, but I share with her what Suji has been doing all over the world and all that I know about the organization. Eventually, I got her to change her mind. While chanting the verses from the sutra, I felt that it was telling us a message. If we do wrong deeds, we should sincerely repent for our mistakes. Showing great resolve, one was determined to conquer her physical pain. I see it as a way to reduce our obstructive karmic forces. So even without my knee guard, I was able to persist through the rehearsals. It doesn't mean that we are liberated from these karmic forces. It just means that it's diminished. We still have to pay our dues, so we need to practice kind deeds constantly. Although each of the onstage performers has a different story to tell, one thing that is for certain is the profound wisdom they have gained through their participation in the musical. Cherishing the opportunity to perform in the Sutra musical, Lin Ziren has to put twice as much effort into the rehearsals as the 20-year-old suffers from Down syndrome. Initially, Ziren's mother simply wanted her son to learn sign language, but when she learned of the scope of the musical, she was concerned that her son was going to lag behind, so she sought the help of Tiji volunteer Hong Qingping. The other day when we rehearsed the song, Walking the Path of Enlightenment, Life After Life, Ziren attempted to recite the lyrics. I was really moved by his effort. To help Ziren memorize his place on stage, Hong guides him during each rehearsal. Ziren also knows that in order to catch up with everyone else, he has to work harder than others. In the beginning, he was very eager to grasp all the sign language movements, so he'd watch the demo videos from beginning to end over and over again. His determination and resolve really impressed me. Not only has Ziren's level of concentration improved through his participation in the sutra performance, but he has also learned to listen to what others have to say before expressing his own opinions.